Okay, I cleared up some room, and I got a quest from picking up the treasure here. I've recovered one of a set of four hidden items. Uh, hidden, sorry, items hidden by the Taventer Mage. The others are buried with several Taventer Generals out in the forest. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all four, but hey, I got one, and that's that's something. It was pretty good. I can't equip it just yet. Nobody has 38 strength, but hey, it's there. And I will grab not that. That would be bad. I clear up a little bit of room here. Um, now we can head back the way that we came, and hopefully I can find a way further into the dungeon without taking too much of, well, damage and death and all that good stuff. Because I don't like that, to be honest with you. And we have uh, more enemies. They are down here, the devouring skeletons. They can all die. Hit him, and five. There we go. Soviet. You hit the wrong one. You're hitting this, this guy. You hit that one, right there, with an arcane bolt. And you're still, now you can go for a shield pummel, and you I are working on that still. If you're just going to be this easy, though. That's right, it, these guys are still pretty easy when they're, when they're in small bunches. I forgot that. I forgot that. Down they go. Down they go. And ho oh, whoa. That is no good. Okay, we are all attacking this guy now. Okay, now he is dead. We are attacking any any upgrades? No? Okay, so then uh, hit this guy, why not? Hit this guy there. And with a winner's grasp and an overpower, and then you just hit him. Did you die somewhere along the line? Why do you keep turning that off? Crap. Mind blast, please! And who are we attacking? We're attacking this guy. Why did you guys stop? Oh, you're stunned. Come on, hit him! Hit him! Everybody's going for assault. That must be some one hell of an ability. Yeah, you know, this is where the, uh, the area of effect would help, except we're all in the same area. So maybe not as much as I would like. Uh, hit him with something. Hit him with an arcane bolt. You hit him with shield pummel, and pummel strike should be good here. You probably need to heal Sten now. He's not doing so great. Continue to hit him, Charles. Is he dead yet? Okay, we got him. So who's our next target? Oh, shit. Charles, heal yourself. And winner's grasp. Wait, we're attacking this guy. Yeah, everybody attack this guy. We're, we're focusing there. We're focusing there. Winner's grasp on him. Damn it, did you... You didn't... I forgot to set that back. Don't die, Charles. Don't die. Holy crap, he might. No, heal, Charles. You can heal yourself, Stan. You can, you can, you can totally do that. That is, that is an ability that Stan has. He can last, though. He can last. I'm sure he can. Hit him with an arcane bolt and... Did you already get... Fuck. Oh, Charles is probably going to die here. Heal, heal. Thank you. Okay. Now, you can heal again. Heal Sten. Um, you guys are still attacking this guy. Yes. Charles is down for the count. I probably need to force field on him. Um, I do. Okay. Uh, doesn't have enough. No. <laughs> doesn't have enough eight MP. Okay. God, Charles, you can you can make it, Charles. I believe in you. Is this guy dead? Okay. Everybody's focusing on this guy now. And including you. And then hopefully, damn it, Charles, heal yourself again. 
Okay. Okay. We no. We got this. We've got this. Now we can do that. Oh, yeah. Grasp. Resisted. Come on, finish him. And then just this last guy here. And I was there we go. There we go. I got it. That was that was kind of close though. And by kind of I mean I almost died many, many times. Let's grab all this. And head down here. And hopefully I can find something cool in here. Greenstone, sure. Wait, what? Phylactery. Phylactery? Like phylum? This elaborate artifact has a gem-like structure that contains what appears to be blood, fresh and liquid even after all this time. The gem is vibrating slightly. Uh, show it to people? What do you got to say about this, people? A device meant to hold a spirit, perhaps? Such would be my guess. Though, what might be left of any spirit within after such a long time trapped? <laughs> Elf magic. Racist. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? You'd think it would be all dried up after so long. There must be magic involved. What would you like to do? Uh, can I, can I take it? The gem is warm to the touch, and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images, and memories from a life not your own. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear, and the images that rush you, your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. Uh, is this some kind of trapped spirit? The presence thinks quickly, bewildered. Finally, it decides that you are indeed real and not a product of its fevered imagination. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering silver armor. But this was long ago, remembered as if through a fog. Uh, what useful information can you offer me? The presence can remember little. You see images of an order of elven mages who channel their spells into their strength, fighting as arcane warriors to defend their charges. That doesn't sound like that great of a... I don't know, they're, they're Final Fantasy V sorcerers. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that one. Continue. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer. The last of its memories in return. The presence asks only one thing from you. Oblivion. How can I kill you? The images that come are faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar and a life gem placed upon that altar. The life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. Um... Uh, what else can you offer me? The presence has nothing else to offer, possesses nothing, and remembers a little of a life from so long ago. The images that the presence sends are desperate. It will give you what memories it has. Whoever follows the arcane warrior's path will be the last of its order. So I'm pretty much left... I, I want the option, I think, just, just in case. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but knows the life gem must be placed on it. Approach the stalled altar with the gem. As a life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotions. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. Um, I'm pretty like I don't think this overwrites anything. So sure. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks that you keep your promise, relieves it from its eternal prison. Nah. The shock and outrage of the presence turns into a wail of despair. The images become a flash of light and then are silent. The gem vibrates no more. Hooray! Quest completed! And I have unlocked a specialization for Arcan Warrior. So yes, it didn't, uh... <laughs> I completed it! Oh, that was, that was possibly the dickiest thing that I have done so far. 
Possibly. Not... Yes, upstairs. I don't understand your problem with that, Charles. Up the stairs. What do we have over here? A leather helm that I do not want. So, I heard that you were in a soul gem forever. Eh, too bad. Thanks for teaching me stuff, though. Nope, can't learn anything there. And let's just continue on. Hopefully, I can find my way further forward. Shit, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming our way, don't we? Is it, no, we're, it's in here. Easy. There we go. Here they are, fang skeletons. Hit them with... No, hit this guy. This is our guy, the guy out front. That is who we want to hit. This guy, as always. Damn it, overpower. That thing, that thing is insane overpower. Finish the guy. Yes, thank you. Now uh, hit the hit the guy inside. We'll get the guy inside still, and hit him with an arcane bolt. You hit him with shield pummel. You hit him with that. Oh shit! There's more coming. Just when I think it's it's safe, there's more coming. Let's hit this guy. And we're good? Nope, we're not good. So we'll just finish that guy. He, we should be fine. Just one guy. Okay, it's two guys. How many of these guys are coming? Is this the last one? I don't see another dot. Okay, everybody in here. No more aggroing. We are good in here. Okay, they, they seem to be done for now for now. I'll take another elf root out of there. And what else can we get? Elf light arrows. Sure. I will take those. And I will use them eventually. Lesser spirit bomb. Because why not? And money. Hooray for money. Now, y yes, give me more money. Alright. Alright. That, no. And lesser healing pulchers. Do I want this? I do not, because it's not even as good as what Charles has equipped right now. Do I want to hit... There's a lot of enemies down there. I don't... I don't know if I want to go that way just yet. But it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice here. And I definitely don't want that. That, that shield is very common, and I don't want anything to do with it. A glass phylactery? Yes. What is this? There is no obvious order to this jumble of miscellanea, but one item stands out, a small glass phylactery. I'm sorry if it's called phylactery, but it looks like phylactery. The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Dig it! The glass fractures at your touch. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. Am I going to die? Oh, shit. Fucking revenant! I, I didn't I take one on before. Maybe I took one on before. I don't remember. But look at that! We did like shit for damage. Oh, this is going to suck. Ar arcane bolt. Hit him with a shattering shot, and hit him with a mighty blow. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Oh shit! We just keep on missing though. And can we go for a mind blast? Are we gonna hit him with that? Go for a shield bash and a sunder arms, and you go for a pinning shot. Nope, he resisted it. He resists it. Of course he does. Hit him with that, and God, you can't really do anything else. You don't have that. Fuck! I turned it off. Ah, uh, it looked like he didn't have it on. God, he does so much damage. Arcane Bolt. That. And then you guys can't really seem to do... Yes, you can do a Pummel Strike. Can you heal somebody? Yes, heal him. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You're working on it. Come on. <laughs> this is going to be a grind fest, but hopefully we can we can come out victorious on this one. And I guarantee nothing. Ah, uh, send her arms again. Can you heal again? Heal him again. He needs to be healed. Heal. Overpower. 
Uh, and I should probably yeah, we'll heal you while you're still. No, you already healed. Go for lightning. Yes, on the revenant. What else would I hit? Okay, we're we're getting there. We are getting there. Arcane bolt. You can't do anything. And you go for pummel strike. Can you heal again? Almost. All right, now you can heal. Now, now we can do this. And you can't do that. You can't do that. And right, you need to use this because you're getting attacked all the damn time, and she is quickly running out of MP. God. What can I use on him? Oh, shit. Can I use, um... Don't I have, like, arrows or some shit? I swear I had arrows. Where are my arrows? Arrows. Any arrows will do. Ice arrows! No, he's immune to ice. Elf flight arrows. There we go. And, yeah, she is officially out of MP, so drain his mana if you can. Are you under a penalty or anything like that? Or of weakness? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Turn this back on. Um, just keep attacking, though. Just keep attacking. Pummel strike. And he just keeps on fucking resisting it. Heal! You can't do anything. You can do an arcane bolt, so do it. Do anything. He's fucking immune to everything. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> Just fucking finish him. Shattering shot. Drain his mana again. What else, what else am I going to do? Overpower. Hummel strike. God, it doesn't seem like that's doing anything. Heal yourself again. Arcane Bolt again. You can't do anything. You can't Boy. do anything. Can you... You can't do anything. Fuck! Alistair! Heal yourself again! Jeez! Down he goes! Down he goes! We got him! We got him! That that took way longer than it should have. And I didn't get Okay, thank you. I say he better drop something. Uh and a scrap of paper. Oh okay, the black vials. What what does it say about the black vials? Uh you deny our dead their rest, and so you will also be hounded. Let the strength of our union bind you by your true name. Kwametha Kagat Revenant and perversion of an honored father, though no spirit gauge will undo what was suffered on Draste, hold you, demon, and bind your rage for eternity. Okay. Sure. So we took on a powerful enemy there, it looks like. But it was all by himself. No wonder I struggled with the Revenant and other shit. That was a tough fight. And it looks like there's only one more area for me to go. Because I have been in here. Wasn't I in here? Yeah, I was in here. So there's only one place for me to go, which is further that way. However, we will have to take that on next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by Charles Mahariel. A little bit more evil today. A little bit more evil. I'm liking that from you. We also have Morgan, Stan, and Alistair. They're not nearly as important, though. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.